Greetings Capricorn! Welcome to your November 2013 room scope. Uh, as always, be sure to check the video for your rising sign. That can give you some more information. Um, if you would like uh, something specific toward to you, uh, you can schedule a reading with me. I do those on Skype. It's $65 for half an hour. Just drop me a line below this video at the email address. It's runescopesforyou at gmail.com and I can get you set up with a private reading and we can see exactly what November and beyond holds for you. But for, uh, in general, for Capricorns in November, what I see you grappling with is a new beginning. There's something that you want to do. There's some big change that you want to make, but you feel like it's not, circumstances are not right. So it could be that you're holding off for the new year, or you could be waiting for some new information, some communication regarding this new beginning. Um, some of you may, may be waiting to hear news about a pregnancy uh, or a, a, a new job. Something that's going to benefit you in some way. Something that you really want. Um, maybe you're waiting to hear back from someone that you're interested in, starting a new relationship with. So, I mean, yeah, anything that you want to get off the ground, it seems like in November you are kind of in the, for, in the uh, stage of collecting information or waiting on information researching can be another way that this is this could work you're you're looking into making a big change um but you it's something that can happen it's something that you can make happen you definitely the goal is a reasonable one it's definitely something you can achieve if you're willing to put the effort into it um so that the challenge in november i think is just uh Maybe the delay, but at the same time, you're, it's going to be a beneficial delay. So while you're waiting, you're going to be doing other things or investigating other ways of making this happen. For those of you who live with someone, if you have a roommate or if you, if you are married, so this could be your significant other or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever lives with you. There may be some arguments around the house in November. Somebody is just extra fiery. Some of you may even be married or, or uh, in a relationship with fire sign. So I just see a lot of that fire energy around the house. But also this could just be you putting a lot of energy into your home. Um, some of you may be, you know, building onto your home or redecorating your home or doing work around the house, getting things done that need fixed. And, you know, there's always a lot of frustration, I think, that comes with home repairs of any sort. Um, some of you may have something that breaks around the house and you just need uh, to call someone in to fix it. You may, maybe you've asked your partner to do this and they put it off and don't do it. And that's why you're frustrated. That's why there are arguments. Or you may have trouble finding someone who can fix this particular problem in November. You will. Um, you know, I feel like you will find them on your own, though. Go to, I suggest going to the internet rather than asking people that you know. Because it seems like if you ask people you know, they're going to give you uh, the wrong kind of people to fix whatever this is. Whatever this issue is. So, um... But for those of you who are redecorating, who are adding onto your home, the end result is going to be fantastic. So, I mean, this is worth it if that's what, if that's how this is working in your life. Um, help you can receive in November is just going to be getting away, I think. Um, some of you may be getting bonuses or a raise in November as well. So that's going to help you um, be able to take a trip or um, maybe prepare for a move. For some of you, maybe this new thing that you're, you're preparing for is a move. You're, you're looking to buy a new home. I, and I think a lot of you may be looking at houses in November. That could be how this works. Um, but for those of you who are gonna get away, it's gonna be very fun, very fun trip. Um, some of you may just be going away for the holidays if you're going to see your family. I think it'll be a very positive visit for most of you, just a very, um, a nice balance of relaxation, but also fun. Like I don't see you always sticking around the, the home base. I see you going out and be doing some shopping, getting things ready, going Christmas shopping, that sort of thing. Um, but just feeling very secure, just feeling nice, a nice homey 
uh, Thanksgiving feeling. Um, if you have another trip besides Thanksgiving, maybe if you're not going away for Thanksgiving at all, maybe you are taking um, a vacation in November, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be a very busy trip. I see you running around a lot, doing a lot of um, going here and there, uh, a lot of travel involved, but um, and spending a lot of money, but a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You have the money to spend, so by all means, go for it. Enjoy yourself. Um, what you have to accept about November is that it's it's kind of about other people in November. But this new beginning that you, um, going back to what we talked about earlier, this new beginning that you're trying to get off the ground, you're going to be able to take a lot of significant steps by the end of November. So whatever starts slowly maybe at the beginning of the month is going to end up really picking up by the end of the month. So. Um, for a lot of you, this may be a relationship um, that's coming into your life, a new relationship that's coming in in November. So it could be that this is the last thing on your mind at the start of November, but by the end, you may have met someone who um, you're intuitively drawn to and you feel like could be a very positive person to have in your life. You may meet this person through someone you already know, a close, a close friend. Um, but this new beginning is is going to come in for you, Capricorn, and and kind of I, I think the reason that it's coming up in the area of where you need to be of what needs to be accepted is because it's going to happen no matter what you do. So while this planning is all well and good, it's going to come in no matter what. It's just um, and if this is a person, it's a very um, uh, karmic uh, relationship. This isn't the first time, the first lifetime that you have known this person. This could be disruptive for you at first, Capricorn, because it kind of shakes up your very well-planned, thought-out world. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, you are normally, uh, you like a plan. You like things to go according to plan. You like to be in control. So when something comes in that kind of throws things out of control, you don't like that so much. Um, you like to be the one telling other people how it's going to be. And you, and I don't think you do, you don't all do it anyway. Not all of you. Some of you might. You don't all do it in a very rude, rude manner. But um, sometimes you can uh, be a little forceful when you're kind of pushed to uh, the end of your rope. And I think at the end of November, around the holidays, something that has been hidden is going to come out. And it's, it's a very... It's a very disruptive kind of um, situation. And I feel like you are going to, some of you may issue an ultimatum to someone. And I feel like this is a family member or, or someone um, close to you and who has just been a very disruptive negative influence. And you are gonna be like, look, I've had enough of this. This is it. And you're making the right decision there may be other people who don't understand this, you, you know, um, who may be hurt by this in some way, but that those people kind of need the wake up call too. So if you're, if you're doubting, if you're doubting your decision because of the way other people are reacting that you care about, um, don't because your decision is helping them in some way as well. Uh, it, it, that may not be clear at the moment when you, when you have to kind of issue this ultimatum. But, you know, I think you'll talk to someone after all of this kind of goes down and feel much better about what you had to do. So, it, you know, if you have a friend or, or a family member that you talk to, um, who you always go to for advice, I think that you may need to call upon them at the end of November and could just kind of talk this out, just kind of talk about what went down, talk about the situation, and you're going to get the confirmation from them, you know, and maybe this is somebody who, who advised you to do this in the first place. Maybe they said, hey, you need to um, get this person out of your life. And I think we had something like this come up for you last month. Uh, Capricorn about a negative person that you needed to get out of your life. I think this is kind of um, the like the the residual bit of that coming back. Like you still kind of working that out in November, but this is kind of the final stages of that. So whatever was started 
um, last month in October, and if you're watching this in October, maybe it's going on now, um, you're going to be finishing that up in November. You will be done in November. If you are not done with this person in October, you will be so overdone in November. And just, you've been patient long enough that you don't have any more patience. No more patience is required of you. So these people who get upset with you who don't understand things, maybe you're not seeing the situation clearly for some reason. They will later. They will later. Okay? Um, this situation is going to turn out better. It's going to be better in some way because of your actions. So, um, like I said, besides this disruption, you've got a wonderful new beginning, but I feel like this kind of needs to get out of the way before you can focus on these new things coming into your life, these new things that you're planning, this new relationship for some of you that is, that is going to come in. You need to have room in your life for that. And this is this uh, negativity is blocking that in some way. And you know this. I feel like many of you know this, that you need to clear this out. You need to get rid of this person. They need to be uh, not clouding up your, your, uh, your energy, not draining your energy anymore. You don't, have, you don't have any energy. You want to give to other people right now. It needs to be about you. Okay, 2014 needs to be about Capricorn. It needs to be about you. So anyone who is taking away from that or draining your energy, you need to take whatever steps necessary. Um, again, like I said in, uh, for October's reading, take whatever steps necessary to get this person out of your life. If you need to take legal action, talk to someone about taking legal action. I don't know that you'll need to necessarily, many of you go that far. You could just maybe just talk to a lawyer and get enough advice to kind of, and that will kind of maybe scare this person enough just like one letter from this from a lawyer will be enough to kind of get this person to be to understand that you mean business and that you will go that far if necessary. Okay, for some of you, again, this may be a restraining order or, or something to keep a person away from you. Um, and it's unfortunate that someone you care about is kind of maybe for some of you tied up in this, but it's all going to um, work out for that person's. Uh, it's going to work out better for this person if you take these steps, even though it may not be clear to you in November that that's the case. So I hope that helps. You've got a lot of great things coming, Capricorn. It's just this one thing, this one person, this one situation that I'm glad to see you're taking steps to, to, to remove this from your life. And once that's out, the way is going to be clear for you to move forward and not even look back. So good luck in November, and I will see you again in December. Thanks, Capricorn.